Hello everyone, I'm Ron Grant, coming to you live and direct from Tortola in the Virgin Islands. You're watching 284 Media. The Adult Spelling Bee Battle of the Districts on August 19th is back. Of course, last year was the inaugural event, and you definitely want to make sure that you are a guest uh, to witness the Battle of the Districts. I'm today joined by two of the organizers, Daryl Flanders, alongside Mandisa Fred. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break. When you're in need of air conditioning, installation, repairs, or replacement services, Markinson Air Conditioning and Refrigeration has the professional technicians, equipment, parts, and ACs to get the job done right. Markinson Air Conditioning and Refrigeration carries top brands like Daikin, Aircon, Mitsubishi and more. We're open Monday to Saturday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Located in Fish Bay. Telephone 340-4114 or 343-9511. Markinson Air Conditioning and Refrigeration, providing exceptional services to the British Virgin Islands since 2015. Father Jesus, that learn your long like church service. Hmm. Alright, let me enjoy the rest of it. Yeah. Next customer in line, please. Wait, hold on a second. Yes, Sonny boy, come, yes, Sonny. Good morning. Good morning, Sonny boy, open up. You must have cut fun tapping. It's okay, it's okay, I'll take care of it. What? No, no man, take care of me. How may I assist you? Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> you want a top of power? Eh? You want a top of power? Eh? Join a prepaid party with CCT and enjoy more affordable data plans, more top-up promotions, more savings with hero bundles, and more value for your money each and every Tuesday with Top-Up Turn-Up Tuesday. Visit a CCT store today or anywhere CCT top-up is sold and top-up your phone. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, you want top-up or what? Eh? Rashford made it. Manchester United have come from behind to lead. At home or on the go, watch CCT Live. Download our app and carry your favorite TV shows, news, or live sports anywhere you go. Visit cctbvi.com forward slash live, select your package, and tune in. Viewers, welcome back and thank you so much for sticking with us. As a promise, I'm joined by Daryl Flanders and Mandisa Fred, two of the organizers of the Adult Spelling Bee. Guys, welcome back to our studios and thank you for your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Good afternoon. So we remember the inaugural event, of course, uh, <laughs> quite a fun and exciting event, and we're back. Melissa, I want to start with you. Uh, for persons who may not have been aware, uh, tell us about the background of the Adult Spelling Bee and recap last year's event. The concept behind it was as a back-to-school initiative for parents to be able to take it easy and remember what their children are going to be going through mm -hmm. for the academic year. So we decided to have them put them on the spot really and see if they knew everyday words because you know when it comes to homework yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have to double check everything so as a fun way to ring in the school year we decided to host an adult spell off last year we had nine contestants and the winner hailed from Virgin Gorda okay. and we also used the funds raised from the ticket proceeds mm -hmm. And we donated that to a school, and the school was chosen at random by the winner, mm -hmm. and that school was Kitty's Nook yep. last year. Amazing. And so, Daryl, we're back with Battle of the Districts, which mm -hmm. I absolutely love. This, <laughs> this year's competition. It is. We have nine districts, and uh, I know for sure you rep the sixth district. Um, so, we uh, have okay. some fascinating stuff. Um, uh, you're from the East. Eighth district you all day. My, you have my deepest. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl, and you hail from the first. District you one. Also have my Oh, wow. Tell okay. us about this year's uh, competition. So we wanted to switch it up this year. We want to make it every we, we plan to make this adult spell up a running thing for years to come. We appreciate that. So we wanted to switch it up this year and do Battle of the Districts. 
funny enough, that was actually going to be the first uh, version, but then we were like, no, let's just go general. So this year we did Battle of the District, so we opened up to everyone. The, the buzz from last year was really high, so we were like, you know what, let's go for the Battle of the Districts this year. Because we so, had elections this year also. Yes. yes. <laughs> so that kind of prompted the theme. Yes. So we now have 12 uh, competitors signed up for a variety of districts. Unfortunately, we do not have a District 1 or District 4 wow. signed up. That speaks volumes. Um, you know, I just feel like for, on District 1's behalf, I just feel like we wanted to give another district an opportunity to, okay. to succeed and win. So, so I think districts, that's what happened. Let it be known that Districts 1 and Districts 4 are not represented in this competition. We don't no. know why. Um, I'm going to personally send a message to the district representative um, and, and see what's going on there. <laughs> but nevertheless, um, correct me if I'm wrong, registration for the event is closed. It is closed. So with because we have nine districts, even though we technically have seven technically represented now, mm -hmm. and we do have 12 participants, we actually have an orientation and possible preliminaries okay. round mm -hmm. uh, this coming Saturday. Saturday. Okay. It is closed to the public, mm -hmm. but we do plan to do uh, more promotion. This year, we want to actually feature colors, so districts can, each district would have rep. a color to rep, to rep at the competition on August 19. Definitely. So mm -hmm. we're looking forward to this year. The buzz in terms of just viewership, people who want to come, have been, has been great. Bosses have seen me and they were like, Mr. Flanders, we come in, we come in. And I'm like, well, why don't you spell? And they're like, no, no. <laughs> absolutely not. I have to personally commend you both uh, um, once again hosting this magnificent event. Uh, you spoke, of course, about the background, uh, but it definitely promotes uh, literacy. Definitely. Uh, on, on all levels, uh, as we should. Uh, so registration is closed. Uh, you could not have done this event without uh, some amazing uh, support and sponsors. Mm -hmm. So uh, tell us about your contributing sponsors. Uh, we have a list of sponsors. First of all, um, HLSCC, we want, to, we want to give them a huge shout out because we are using the auditorium again this year. Let me get my, my list together. <laughs> so we also want to give a shout out to Delish Desserts, SK Charters, Nova Vita, SNS Shipping, Original Virgin Canopy Tour. We also have Captured Photography. And Harneys, there, and the list, the list goes on. So we, we are still in the process of, you know, yeah, confirming and listing and um, gathering those sponsors. But so far, things have been shaping up pretty nicely Wonderful. for this competition on August 19th. So tell me about the opportunity to be crowned or awarded the <laughs> adult speller of oh. the New Districts. What, what does it look like? What are the bragging rights? Tell us all about so, it. Ooh, we are we are grateful <laughs> to say because last year the the grand prize last year was a thousand dollars and amongst other other, other things prizes, yeah. right this year we're happy to say that our grand prize this year will be fifteen hundred dollars so we're able to level up a little bit mm -hmm. but I will we will warn competitors you know like just like last year we have the everyday common words round just the first category mm -hmm. we have the VI dialect mm -hmm. category mm -hmm. and this year instead of it last year it was the map of the virgin islands this year it's bvi signage interesting so is that a thing well, well Amanda, you can elaborate <laughs> <laughs> that a little bit well the, the signage for the bvi by the language <laughs> well most of the buildings particularly in town have names on them Correct. and if you move around particularly in tortola you see signs of some interesting businesses. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use that to see, one, who's paying attention mm -hmm. as they're moving around. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And two, do we really know how to spell these buildings? Very interesting. So we have three rounds. <laughs> so we have three, three rounds three, again. Yeah, three rounds again. Yeah, three rounds again. Awesome. And then we're encouraging persons, of course, in Virgin Gorda to, because we're going to drive around in Virgin Gorda as well, yes. to get some names of buildings. Be familiar with over there. The and they, they are, are represented. Are so August uh, 19th at the H. Lobby Stock Community College. Uh, tell us the cost and, of course, the time. 7 p.m. Sharp. Don't say sharp. It jinxes it. Okay. <laughs> no, but we're going to tell you because we started at 7. Last year, I think that was the big thing. At 7.30, I was at the back, and I gave them all. I was backstage like this. She was. She definitely was. <laughs> <laughs> and at 7.29, the music went down. They rang the school bell. We began. And we began. And we're People were outside and it's like, wait, they're starting. 
I'm time. I'm time. Time is time. I'm time. Time. So I guarantee you, 7 p.m. we will begin. There is no question about it. Mm -hmm. And it's ten dollars. You know, just like last year, it's ten dollars mm -hmm. to to enter. And again, as we remind people that it's a, it's a donation. So it's not for us. It's, it's not, not for profit. It's not going to us. Going directly it is to, a school. to a school that's chosen and abandoned by the winner. The same precedence where the winner gets to choose us. Yes, well, definitely. Awesome. Well, I will definitely be there. Of course, we here at Twenty Four Media, uh, we support you guys uh, very much in this uh, very exciting endeavor. Uh, so, see you at the spell off that is August nineteenth. Of course, we're looking forward to making sure that the general public comes out and represent their district. Um, show your support uh, for your district. Of course, uh, districts one and four, as mentioned, uh, you don't get that up in the uh, sign up and participate in the competition. We do wish you all the best. Um, <laughs> yes, okay. Viewers, thank you so much. A ball of fun. Love to have you guys. Thank, thank you. Thank you.